Well, guys, we got breaking news in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Early reports are suggesting that despite not being involved in it, France has thrown up the white flag and literally surrendered. Obviously, I'm only joking there, but it is very possible, let's be honest. Now, as you know by now, the media are running around saying that Russia has invaded Ukraine and this is all terrible, making Putin the devil, despite the fact that the US, UK and NATO have literally been bombing various countries for years, have they not? I guess it must be different when we do it. Now yes, apparently there's been casualties on both sides with brain fart in Biden rightly being blamed by anyone that ain't the BBC, CNN or the bloody rest of them. Who is at fault here and all of that has been rehashed by like 100 people already and will be for weeks to come so I ain't gam through it now. What I want to sit here and talk about is the pathetic virtue signaling that has sprung up within hours of it all kicking off. This nonsense here is the most cringeworthy and I would say insulting thing that I've seen yet, but let's be honest they do it for literally everything do they not. And actually Rotten Politics sent me this absolute monstrosity earlier that did make me laugh because I kind of half expected it. Then of course you've got Cenk from the Young Twats, I mean Young Turks, blaming it on white supremacy because why bloody not? But obviously what you don't see is them hopping on a plane and standing with Ukraine holding an AK on the bloody front lines fighting against Russia. As you likely know their idea of standing with Ukraine involves a Twitter post, hashtag or a little light show while they enjoy a Prosecco at home the absolute wet wipes. Yes these virtue signaling spunk trumpets will stand with anyone that might grab them a few likes on Twitter or a glowing mention in the fake news media but they won't actually stand with anyone when it comes to it. Thankfully, as the comments on this article show, the people of this country and literally anyone reading it are calling out the virtue signaling cringe fest that this is, and the fact that these scumbags wouldn't stand with Ukraine outside their dumb little hashtag or light shows. The general public do sometimes make me proud, it's gotta be said. Now naturally, it's woke tosspots like the EU, Downing Street, Liverpool, Melbourne and Berlin doing this because of course it is. Yes, I'm sure there are others, but they're the ones I remember off the top of my head now, and either way, I bet the people of Ukraine will think they're a bunch of sad twats like I do now. Anyway, guys, that's it for this story here. I just wanted to mug off these septic spots on the arse of humanity for their never-ending, cringe-inducing crap when not one of them doing it as the bollocks to grab an AK and join the front lines. Where are-